All right, good morning, guys. So let's go ahead and go over the explanation for your warm up. So just go ahead and type in your name. All right, so when we get to this problem, it's the same things we've been going over with the trigonometric functions. The first question says, answer the following questions based on the information in the diagram. So here we have to realize what we're looking at, what we're looking for. We have an angle and two side lengths. It doesn't matter what X is right now because the first question just says, based on the diagram, which equation is correct. And so you're going to want to be able to pay attention to the angle and the side lengths. We understand that sine is opposite over adjacent. Cosine is, a, I mean, opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So based upon this image and this visual we have right now, we have an angle measurement. Nothing is on the adjacent side, so we only have opposite over hypotenuse. And so we should have sine of 32 equals eight and a half over X. And so B will be our answer here. Now, when we're looking for the value of X, now we want to be able to see if our ratio is in the numerator or the denominator. So if our ratio is in the numerator, remember, we multiply X is equal to our side length times our trig function and degree measurement. And we type that into the calculator. If we're looking for C, meaning the denominator of the ratio, we're going to set X equal to our side length divided by our trig function in our angle measurement. So that's how you answer that one. All right, now when we get to the second question, it says, again, answer the following based on the diagram information. And so now for this one, we go from a different angle. We go from angle B this time. We don't have any information on the hypotenuse. We only have information on the opposite and the adjacent. So now we understand that the only trig function that we have for opposite and adjacent will be the tangent function. So you have to select the best choice here where the equation would be correct. And again, to find X, same process. If it's in the numerator, we multiply. If it's in the de denominator, we divide. And that's how you... Um, answer the questions for the warm-up. If you got any questions, please shoot me an email or a message on the reminder.